not the ex not not content creation taking me to my ex like, evening with all these crusty ass nasty bad-mannered ill-trained influencers if it's that easy do it damn girl i like how you did Hi besties, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome if it's your first time here and just seeing this beautiful face for the first time. I am the Ima and Miss Ima and I'm very glad to have you here. Please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you've turned on your notification bells. Also join the Miss Ima family everywhere by following me on Instagram and on TikTok by searching Miss Ima. The links will be in the description. Today we're going to be talking about something a little bit, just a little bit stressful. So I'm going to be needing this, okay? And we're going to need a lot a lot thank you <laughs> this is why i will always look at the glass as half full not half empty because it's literally full mm. i woke up this morning and I'm, I'm gonna have a content day today and i said you know what i'm just gonna film a video on the struggles of being a content creator in nigeria a content creator now we know content creating is something that's pretty much relatively new worldwide and the struggles that content creators face i'll say across the board right in nigeria there are just some pe particular peculiar nigerian factors nigerian problems are added because you know something must exist but then the nigerian factor must always also be there and i'm going to be talking about some of them today and how i feel like we can remedy you know some of these issues content creation is still relatively new which means that it's not seen still as a valid career path people don't really see it as work i'm still doing it kind of like on the side and i've been juggling and struggling between do i really want to do this full time and like just ditch everything else and just go head on and luckily enough i thank god i'm privileged enough to be able to have the luxury of that choice but the point is it's still relatively new which means that people don't really rate it as work people just see content creators as people that are just doing funny fun things i'm a lawyer by degree and i've actually done my law school and i can't imagine the day i would tell everybody that okay you know what i'm dropping anything career i'm finally finally and i want to be a youtuber or i want to be like a tiktoker <laughs> Almost cries in rule of law, they're gonna lose their minds because it's not seen as valid enough. And honestly, their concerns are also quite valid, right? In that, I don't think that content creators in Nigeria are paid enough for the work that they do, or who don't even recognize it as something that needs to be paid for, which is a completely different like, point I'll be talking about, like the payment issue, but just also in terms of respect that people have for the career and the respect that people have for it and the respect that people give you. And it's just like, oh, this one, she just wants Instagram creator, she just wants skits maker. And despite how much money some of these people make, they're still not giving that respect that they deserve for the hard work that they're putting in. I always say this, people always look at people that have money or have clout or have whatever it is they think they have and think, oh, this person has it easy. And it's like, if it's that easy, do it. Even Yahoo is not easy. Even being a ritualist is not easy, bro. Like, <laughs> anybody that has money and success, it means they have been dedicated in whatever it is that they are doing. It's just so annoying that I feel like generally people feel like content creators don't deserve accolades and content creators don't deserve better things happening to them and i think it also particularly has to do with people feeling like and ah, these people are not celebrities like why are they offered all these opportunities this is just amaka like me i think more people are accepting of it now though than before but i think generally it's a big problem generally that content creators face and in nigeria it's even like like I think one way to go about people not respecting your career is like not caring. Like just do what you gotta do because guess what? Nobody is feeding you, honey. Nobody is paying your bills. It doesn't matter what people think of it. So long as you are comfortable and happy doing it, and so long as it's something that you actually, you know, you actually want to do, right? For the right reasons, just go ahead. And honestly, everybody will come around when you have that much money. Like they'll see what they want to say, but like, are you able to fly yourself out though? A brand's flying you out though. Are you able to buy what you want when you want though? Okay, noise pollution. Nigeria is a noisy country, right? Dare I say what? Dare I open it thy window? Dare I open my window and I tell you guys I want to film? And you know, particularly for me, I'm someone that likes fresh air a lot. Ventilation really gets me going. It really makes me anxious when I can't breathe properly when I'm in closer when I'm in closer spaces or when I feel like I'm recycling the same air. So sometimes I just want to open my window, get the fresh light, fresh breeze, almost. 
that's the day your neighbor will decide to get a goat and that goat will decide to give birth and that the goat is going to give birth not to one goat triplets what they call it goat lanes what they call it a kid yeah a kid not to one kid that goat to give birth to 10 kids that day they're all going to be bleating and crying at the same time the noise is too much i have this set of dogs in my um area that just i don't i don't know if it's that they don't feed them enough right which is a thing like dog owners please if you have dogs feed them enough because these dogs are screaming like they have rabies or they're constantly hungry and let me catch those dogs honestly let me let me not even catch those dogs those dogs even wake me up from sleep let alone like wanting to film with your window open are you crazy i know the noise is much worse for other people as well in terms of if you're living in an area that's more crowded and if you're living in an area where there's like a lot of okadas and keke people i think one way to go about that is you just probably have to look for times that are more quiet and areas that are more quiet i know in particular in nigeria it's difficult because a lot of people don't live alone they live with their relatives i live with my family but what i tend to do is my mom she's always coming to my room so i always just tell her mommy please i want to film in this hour to this hour and she just like respects that so Dealing with all these crusty ass, nasty, bad mannered, ill trained influencers. This deserves a whole video on its own. I'll probably do a video of it on my TikTok. But guys, when I say there's no community, right? There is no community. There are a couple of like, big people who like themselves, but there's no community for content creators and influencers in Nigeria. I think it's partially because a lot of them are very bad-mannered, ill-mannered, very terribly behaved. I do have a story time going up on my TikTok, so you should check that out, where these influencers were so rude, they made me wait, right? Because they thought that they had more of a following than me. Guys, when I tell you that this thing is so pathetic, these babes that I'm talking about had like 8,000 or so or whatever right it's not like marginally bigger and even if it was it's not a reason for you to treat someone badly and i have way more followers than them on tiktok but i wasn't treating them badly but they didn't know that information right so they're being so rude so nasty so weird i think that's a problem in the influencer community like all over the world but particularly in nigeria because there's so few resources that people have to like share and i think there's so much jealousy and envy in the society as a whole because nigerians worship wealth and Nigerians worship success as opposed to like wanting to be successful for the right reasons that's one of the issues I also think that there's a lot of self struggle so like people have to basically do everything off their back create the content because like Nigeria is not gonna give you any content to create we're really struggling out here in this country like we're struggling with a smile on we're struggling with coated paint on it's a combination of things right I feel like a lot of people feel like they've worked their asses off to get to where they are and they really don't need to share that with anyone else like I can understand that but at the same time honestly you grow by lifting others and it's not even a, like a hidden fact like the more you the more the community props everybody up and i just feel like there's no community here there's no set of resources you can go to to find things right it's more of a community you know when you're thinking about how to charge and whatnot like i remember when brands started messaging me for my tiktok the email i put in my tiktok and i didn't know what to charge at all and i will go online i'll be seeing figures for like american people canadian people and i'm like bro like i know people are not going to accept that money for me in nigeria just yet even if we have the same amount of followers which is another topic i'm going to be talking about today here as well but i'm just saying like there's no community there's no sense of togetherness there's no sense of help there's no sense and i think as nigerians we particularly suffer from that and then there's the added suffering of the fact that content creators are generally just nasty most people are nasty it's like it doesn't hurt you to be nice it doesn't take anything to be kind there are very few nigerian content creators that are even that big for them to be having such high shoulders like towards other people i'm not saying you have to like everybody i'm not saying you have to follow everyone back even but i'm just saying basic respect and decency so don't treat people like trash because they have less followers than you literally basics right one thing is just look for people that align with you honestly like and grow together have a community for like smaller youtubers small content creators there'll be so much you know co-creativity you know sharing of ideas lifting up each other when we need it because it's very tough already for us here you know that be doing it on your own is so hard i haven't been able to find that yet particularly in abuja because we have less content creators in general and people that interact with you on the same level and on the same value sets right because that's another thing i've struggled with um because like, nigeria is very weird like nigeria is very 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 weird like and people are very opportunistic as well so i do understand the fact that some people would rather keep to themselves but i just feel like it doesn't stop you from being a nice person right i will never stop being the next one which is a 
big problem this was such a big problem for me i complained on my youtube channel before is network mtn and etel they have mm, they said mm, they said die do you know that I will try to upload my YouTube video and it will take me about 13,000 hours? What's going on here? Hold it. You chasing me away? No, 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 no. no. So soon? Not at all. Come no. on. What does that even mean? Is that like a year or something? Like, let's actually break down 13,000 hours in two days, right? My area in particular had really, really bad service. I guess it was a thing of like, Nigerian network coupled with the fact that my area was like particularly bad. Such a struggle, it's such a problem, it's such a discouragement to put in so much effort, especially for YouTube. Because like you know with Instagram, it doesn't take you that long or with reels. But even with the reels, like the bad network decreases the quality of your content because so that might be another thing that's actually affecting the quality of your content. I know it did for me anyways. It was so bad guys that I used to have to go to an excess place so that I would be able to upload because his Wi-Fi was better than mine. Like, can you imagine? Or I would go to a cafe and I would spend about my whole day there trying to upload a video, right? And then I find out I'm spending so much money every day because I'm there the whole day. I'm not going to wait till I go home to eat. Like, I'm so sorry. I'm going to eat my lunch there and if, if I need to, I'm going to eat my dinner there so in a week i could be spending like up to 50k on going to cafes like literally so that i could upload my videos and it's such a struggle and it's so annoying that i have to go through that just to upload a video one thing i did personally that helped me was instead of just whining about it i decided to focus more on tiktok because tiktok videos are just less of a production and you can also get them up like with lesser network and still have your videos out there and i actually slowed down on youtube a bit i'm just trying to pick myself back up yeah just find other platforms youtube shorts is a good one as well youtube shorts has really kept my channel going even when i haven't been around there'll be like a whole month i haven't posted like an actual video but like my youtube shorts are there to make sure that my presence is being felt and i'm still growing no matter how little just remember that it's a tough journey but i feel like it's all worth it in the end right you just have to find how it's gonna work for you and what's gonna work for me might not work for you like i might have to find a family friend or a um cousin or a relative whatever that has good network it's so expensive you know like buying data all the time like i had an intel router i had my airtel network and they were just both not giving i got a glow sim that didn't really like do anything different for me um so yeah i just feel like you just have to find what works right obviously i stopped going to my excess space to upload my things because that was just too much like it was too much it came with too much baggage like guys we're going to talk about that in another video please. not the ex not not content creation taking me to my ex like what don't feel too bad if you don't get it right away i know the frustration will come trust me i've been there and i completely understand how you feel bestie one thing that also helps with network issues is also bulk filming and uploading at once like you see that one time you go to the cafe because that's another thing i struggled with because of space right because it means you don't have to do an everyday thing if you can just film edit and then you know you're going to use this one day you're going to go to the cafe and you're just going to post at least with like youtube you can schedule your posts um so you can upload them there delete them for your phone and then schedule it to go up live at a different time i think instagram is doing that now and for tiktok you can save it on your draft so pretty much you're you can manage that with um bulk just fewer resources like we have shortage of power supply we have shortage of everything like shortage of nicer places shortage of aesthetic places like you, the way you have to bank on your personality like this like <laughs> do you have to bank on your personality it's crazy it's crazy like there's not just many cute places you can go to that are affordable not like you can't just walk on the streets and it's aesthetic no no <laughs> you see how people like do their oh like that girl on tiktok clock that does the take a walk with me in new york no darling nobody taking a walk with you on your ugly ass street my ugly ass street like it's so like what i mean is it's just not aesthetic <laughs> I don't mean to sound so negative but i'm just saying it's not aesthetic you have to put in so much effort for something to look nice that might not really be a problem for some people but for me particularly it, it was a problem for me when i started because i was particularly concerned about aesthetics now i'm really not that concerned especially with tiktok i feel like instagram is still a bit more aesthetic driven and instagram is so intimidating guys it can't just be me right instagram is so scary because you need aesthetic content like people are living in all white houses with all white furniture and all white fittings you know it's i guess it's not really a big problem the next one is just like i said fewer resources so people are generally paid less right than their counterparts abroad 
because there's fewer resources and people have less buying power here let me explain it so for example l'oreal can do an advert here but the buying power of nigerians because of the naira is so weak and there's just many more poor people here it means l'oreal might spend say a million dollars on their whole campaign in nigeria for a year but L'Oreal could put that money into a campaign per week in America, which means that those content creators there are earning more. And earning more obviously means you get to create better content because your work is reinvesting your work, right? You get paid more, so you are able to get equipment, you're able to places, create more fun content. Um, as opposed to Nigeria, where you have to, like I said, you have to carry your personality on your back. Like, the way you have to be funny, like if you're funny, like in Nigeria, if you're funny, you have to be funny, die. Like, <laughs> if that's what you're banking on because that's all like there's nothing else you know if you're cute you have to be cute die like if you're doing makeup your makeup has to be the best like because like there's just not that much for me what i noticed is obviously it means like there's more competition here for the fewer resources and it means there's a more bitter level of competition which might go back to the fact that a lot of, a lot of influencers are just very badly behaved and they just want to associate with people that are bigger and go through youtube when i go through google and i see like oh they're seeing content creators in micro content because i'm no longer a nano content creator on tiktok yay by the way if you haven't seen my tiktok what are you waiting for i actually post daily vlogs on there so if you used to love my vlog besties please make sure you check out my tiktok because i actually post there every day right like i was checking out and they were like oh yeah micro content creators that's people that have up to like from i think 10k to about 50k they pay get paid between like five hundred dollars to about a thousand three hundred dollars for a dedicated video on tiktok and i'm like eh? <laughs> eh? in where in, in this nigeria i've so had someone that messaged me they're like madam so you cannot just take 20k are we not giving the product for free i didn't even respond i was like i'm not even going to respond to this because i'm not hungry and even if i was hungry i have integrity and even if i didn't have integrity like come on even in this economy and the thing is when they go and they pay all these celebrities all this money i promise you nigeria is not the kind of place where people are like oh you know what iniado bought this item so i have to buy it right because those people are just so unattainable to them like they admire them maybe things like skincare products i can agree that they do that but like nobody's gonna be like india do had this phone last week so i need to go and buy this phone no because we don't have the cult following that people have abroad because we just don't have the luxury of that a lot of people are hungry in the country that's what i think about their next meal. they're thinking about how they're gonna buy data they're thinking about how they're gonna survive so like that consumerism doesn't exist that much that celebrities are an influence people don't understand the importance of micro influencers and the importance of showing your products to people that people can connect with and people can actually see the benefits and you can actually tell a story of your brand and your product through right so that one is their own loss instead i'm gonna go and get a job right they're gonna pay me and then i'll be doing this thing on the side till it pays me the money i wanted to pay me because i'm not about to stress Do you know the amount of stress that goes into content creating anyways i digress back to fewer resources so it just means like as a whole you would earn less than your counterparts abroad try and build your personal brand a lot i've tried as much as possible to do that on tiktok have a personal brand and have a personal connection with your followers because i feel like it then makes people see the value in your brand and even if some people don't see it other people will see it and i've been seeing some smaller creators in nigeria getting some deals with some people that you know you would consider like big right and i'm sure those people are not paying them 20k for god's sakes just build your personal brand i would say and it takes time to do that it really takes time but you know nothing good everything nothing good comes easy and it's just it's just one of those things and content creation is one of those things that people think it's actually easy but it's not easy at all there's just so much instability and you're trying to reach the same level of quality that your counterparts are doing but it's so hard because you're earning less and even in the less you are earning the disparity between the naira and the dollar is so crazy this is something that affects every single career you know in nigeria it's just like you're you're struggling to earn more but nigeria is actually making you poorer so the only thing with that is just to diversify your income until you're able to work with those brands i will say honestly this naira this one that they even changed yesterday they will change tomorrow green naira notes yesterday naira. even the naira i'm not even seeing i even buy naira in black market you know what we're not even gonna talk about nigeria's issues today thinking about it i'm stressed up i'm stressed up so yeah guys those are some of the things i would say i personally 
have experienced some struggles with let me know in the comments below if you guys have struggled with anything in particular if you know anyone that struggled with anything in particular like content creating wise and like solutions you would prefer one thing i really do feel like we need in nigeria is like a community we're just not communal we're only communal by mouth when it comes to like bashing people um but we're not actually communal in terms of helping people we're not communal in terms of growing like i said it doesn't mean you have to follow people back or like anybody back but it just means that this whole thing should not be shrouded in so much mystery like people should be willing to open up like this so yeah, i do plan and i really do hope for a lot more collaborations on my channel on my on my channel that social media channel so you guys know i love you besties anyways i'll see you guys in the next video adios